So we had some data that was published in Nature a few years back looking at early lung cancers that were untreated lung cancers. And we identified this population, which we also saw in a mouse model of lung cancer, which is the KRS mutant P53 deficient lung cancer model. Um, in both the, the mouse model and also in the human lesions, we saw this uh, distinct population of dendritic cells, which we termed the MREG DC, which were dendritic cells that had taken up tumor antigen, and they upregulated maturation and regulatory markers, but it was also noticed that they had a very strong type 2 immune signature. So the type 2 part of your immune system or type 2 immunity in general is correlated with things like atopic dermatitis, asthma, allergy, food allergy, things like that. And we, uh, in the preclinical setting, we went ahead and blocked IL-4, which is one of the main cytokines involved in type 2 immunity, and we saw that the tumors uh, didn't grow nearly as fast. And so based on that preclinical data, which we also recapitulated in other their preclinical models in mice, we then opened a clinical trial in humans, and this is in the metastatic relapse refractory setting for lung cancer, where patients are progressing on standard uh, immunotherapy. Usually they've had chemoimmunotherapy and are on immunotherapy maintenance, um, at which point they don't have great options and you know they're oftentimes referred to my phase one program. But those patients who had slowly progressing cancer, or some of them actually had fast progressing cancer, um, we enrolled them in the trial, we did pretreatment biopsies, and then we gave them three doses of dupilumab which is the IL-4 receptor alpha blocking antibody that is FDA approved for lots of atopic conditions, including uh, eczema, um, asthma, uh, eosinophilic esophagitis, and a variety of other atopic conditions. Um, so we gave them this allergy medicine, and the initial part that we're reporting was phase 1B, which was just the safety run-in where we were assessing, assessing if there were any toxicities and just confirming that there weren't, which we didn't expect because we have lung cancer patients who have eczema and you know, receive dupil while they're receiving pembrolizumab. Um, but uh, we actually not only saw a very nice response uh, at the, the tissue and blood level, looking at biopsies and blood samples from those patients that correlated nicely with what we saw in mice, um, we actually had one patient who had relatively rapidly progressing squamous cell lung cancer um, that had received chemoradiation and was on immunotherapy. And we continued his immune therapy and gave him three doses of dupilumab, and he went into what is a, a near remission. And that was last summer, and so we're almost a a year out and he still is doing quite well just on standard immune therapy. So we just give uh, three doses of the allergy medicine and that basically rescues the response to the immune therapy that we then continue.